Hey guys, it's Fifavic with episode 16. We're building a silver squad, and this is what it looks like. It looks very empty. I think we'd struggle if we took to the field with these four guys versus 11, but we're not going to do that. We're going to add some more fellas. We're still just picking up cheapies to fill some gaps for now, and like once we've got 11 cracked off, we will. Um, Get into matches, but then like really like improve them by the, the big big players that we want. This guy's one of the big players we want. I'm um, having to find him in the right formation and stuff, so I'd grabbed him. 90 pace at left back, the Swede that he is. Um, 2k for him, so he will come in very handy. Nice to have 90 pace at left back, always. Another cheapy here, just slot him in. Obviously, we need three centre mids for this formation. We've got Dong and Frank up front who are very happy, and uh, we'll get a really good left wing as well, they've got a really good setup. So we'll fly back over to our Syria side, and we will play some matches to win some coins. I think I've got three matches lined up for you, or maybe even four if you're really lucky, maybe three and a half, maybe someone rage quits or something. So we'll fly into those matches. And um, I have just been, guys, to see the Avengers at the cinema. Um, it was alright, it was alright. I um, don't go to the cinema too much and uh, just felt like popping, we felt like popping out. Me and the WAF. And um, it was alright. I wonder if you got, if any of you guys have seen it, um, do put in the comments uh, what you thought of it. Give it a rating out of 5 or something. And let me know what you thought. I thought it was good, I thought it was really good. I liked seeing all the characters in one film. The... CGI is incredible what they can do with CGI now. It just looks like it's all real. It just looks great. Like apart from like the big flying slug things that come out of um, a hole in the sky. Apart from those that it's hard to kid yourself that's uh, that they're real, but um yeah, the CGI is incredible. Scarlett Johansson looking very well indeed in the film. And uh, yeah, it was a cool. It was good. It's good film. It's good storyline. I don't I don't really follow the uh, the um, the comics well enough to know if all this Avengers stuff is part on parcel of the comics. I know that, that there was some um, collaboration comics where more than one of the heroes was in, but I'm not sure if they've had to sort of invent an excuse to get them all in for this one, or or whether there is a comic with that exact storyline that happened in the film. But uh, it was very enjoyable indeed. It's a shame the um, it's a shame they couldn't get the Eric Banner guy to um, to be the real one, the one from the Hulk that they made. It's the guy from Fight Club. He's he must have decided he didn't want to do the Avengers ones. So they had to get another guy in to play Hulk, the character of Hulk. And um, wasn't a problem when he was actually playing Hulk. When he was playing Hulk, the green guy. He looked exactly like he did in the Edward Norton, that's the fella. He looked exactly like him when he was the Hulk. But um, when he was a scientist, crazy, sulky guy, he uh, he didn't look exactly the same as Edward Norton. But um, he did a good job, it's just a shame that they couldn't get the original person. We went to watch it at sort of like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, there's loads of middle-aged people in. And... Um, Middle-aged people love Hulk. God, I had no idea. I was like, I sort of like all the characters equally. I don't have a favourite, really. I can, not, not that I can think of. Um, but, um, yeah, the oldies, they love Hulk. I think it's because there was like a TV show in the 70s and 80s. But um, oh, they were hanging on Hulk's every word, which was um, nice for them. But, yeah, good film, very good film, very long. And um, very exciting indeed. I won't spoil anything, but um, the bad guys don't come off very well at the end, I guess you could say. Oh, they do come off well at the end. Who knows? I'm not spoiling it for you. But um, yeah, it's alright. I don't know where they're going with it now. I am um, looking more forward to the, um, the final uh, part of the Batman trilogy. That looks really good. There was a trailer for that. I really liked that series. Um, I don't think Joker's going to be in it, but um, other than that, it looks very good. Very good film, the Batman one. Back to the RTG, guys. Um, we are winning quite comfortably, actually. 
And um, Lukaku is playing really well for me. Obviously, it's well known that um, in FIFA 12, he's beast. He's a beast player. But um, he really is good. He's, he's, he's almost like cheating playing with him because he's strong. But he's also fast. He's also really agile. And his left foot is just like a trip hammer. If you haven't had a go with him, just find an excuse to make a side with him in because he is fun to use. However, he's not quite as good in the head-to-heads, you know, like the seasons mode. He's, but he's, uh, he's, he's really good for the arcade ultimate team that you can see. Um, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but um, yesterday another episode of my Race to Division 1 went up on MRE Sports. If you if you do want to keep track on that without sort of constantly having to look on that channel, um, just look for it popping up in my favourites, the um, the favourites playlist that you can get access to. I, I, um, I favourite all the ones that are put up on um, Mystery Gamers so you can find them. And uh, that is where you'll find them. Here's the... Uh, the hammer of a shot that Lukaku has again to give us another win. So we have picked up quite a few more coins from these matches. And uh, we will invest them in some more Silver Pro League players. In the next episode, that was enough of this guy, he disappeared. Um, we'll pick up the, some more of the uh, Pro League players in the next episode, guys. And we'll crack on with some more matches. Bye!